Hello everyone and welcome to Nicole Reacts Up. I'm Nicole and I react to LGBTQ movies and TV shows. Today I'll be recapping a movie I know nothing about, but it looks cute. I enjoyed the trailer, has a fun premise, doesn't seem like anybody dies, and I think we'll have a good time. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit subscribe. I put out new recaps every week. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Let's go. Start off with an alarm clock, which is the dreaded 4.45. Oh, she's one of those that wakes up at 4.45 to go running. <laughs> Let me just say, could not be me, ever. And she's the first one to get to the office. She gets to the office before the sun even rises. So as every Christmas movie usually starts, there's always one city girl, right? She works hard. She wakes up at four in the morning to go running. She might care a little too much about work. It's 8.30. Thank you. No, you said you had to be work at 9. And here I think we have the counterpart to the hardworking woman who wakes up to go jogging. Order. And this looks like a queer household roommate situation. So this car looks like those cars that you draw when you're a kid. Like literally the square box car and it's red. What is this, a Datsun? Oh my God, your 30,000 year old car won't start? What a surprise. Who could have guessed that this would have happened? I cannot believe it. She's like, damn, I'm gonna have to take out my horse and buggy. I didn't wanna have to do this. Darn it. Well, I guess she got it started. And she just happens to run into busy city girl who runs in the morning and gets to work before the sun comes up. So sorry. What was it this time? My car, um, you know what? I'm, I'm not gonna give you any, ex any excuses. So Olive gets to work late and apparently it's a frequent problem and she always has an excuse. Well, thank God she got there when she did because it's so busy there. History of ugly Christmas sweaters. Outdone. Holiday date ideas, top 10. No, top five. Give them something they can actually accomplish. So does she work at like a magazine or like a website looking for stories to publish? Buzzfeed-ish type of uh, website? So after a long day of work, Taylor cooks herself dinner, pours herself a conservative glass of wine. And I'm not sure how well she's doing in life because I did peep the white refrigerator in the back. If you don't know the lore about white refrigerator, here it is. Oh, not a white refrigerator, girl. Please put your shoes on. Let's go find you a home, honey. You have new messages. Hey, kiddo. It's your dad. Message deleted. Hey, what's going on? I don't know what's up with your cell. I haven't been able to reach you. Just wondering when I can pick up the rest of my stuff. Uh... Okay, call me back. So in the year 2022, Taylor has a house phone and an answering machine and gets a message or a voicemail. I don't even know what you would call it on an answering machine from her ex, Jess, who wants to come and pick up the rest of her stuff. So I guess she just went through a breakup. Meanwhile, Olive is having a cup of noodles for dinner in her overalls on the couch. So Taylor is dodging her ex's calls who seemingly doesn't really want to try to get back with her, but really does want to just get her stuff back. And all it is, is it just that little box? Like, girl, put it on the doorstep, tell her to come pick it up. That's what I've done. Oh. I hope we're not going to sit with a bottle of wine in our box of ex stuff and reminisce. Hey, what's going on? Oh, so she's really off the deep end. She's put Jess's clothes on and is acting like her in the mirror. Girl, put the bottle of wine down and go to sleep. Jess looks like she was a douchebag. Oh, hey, oh no, she was kind of cute. I mean, she is kind of cute. Hey. She's got a nice little raspy voice, too. What made you finally text me? Your stuff. You said you needed it. Yeah, but we haven't talked in like a month. You broke up with me. Yeah, but that doesn't mean we have to stop talking completely. Oh, lesbians. Oh, lesbians. Don't lesbians be lesbian -ing. That's true. Are you drunk? Yeah, girl, and I was also no. playing dress up with and your clothes. even if I was, that's none of your business. Everything you own in a box to the left. How, how's this? How's the script? Um, yeah, not great. Is it paid? A little. 
I mean, baby, that's called the silver lining in showbiz. Okay. So Olive is an actor, starving artist, working at a coffee shop, pouring over a script, getting paid a little bit. Bank account on empty, girl. It's time to start selling feet pics. Let's go. Hi. Hi. So I was thinking, do you mind if I actually do the holiday date idea? Just an idea, but I think it'd be kind of sweet. Sure. So I have four of the five Christmas date ideas, but I'm stuck on the last one. Okay, what do you have? Getting a Christmas tree, making Christmas cookies, making snow angels or leaf angels, depending on your Leaf location, angels? And some kind of by the fire soiree. Do the uh, ugly Christmas sweater idea that you had. Combine the two. Yeah? Yeah. It works. For some people. <laughs> So Taylor's pacing back and forth. She's nervous. I don't know what about. I wish she had more apprehension of wearing that sweater because it looks like chicken pox. Nope. Mm -mm. I can't do it. Taylor? Uh, Taylor? Hi, Dad. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> so Taylor was scared to call her dad. I wonder why. Perhaps they haven't spoken in a while. I miss you. Yeah, I miss you too. What do you say? Will, will you come for Christmas? I don't know. I wasn't exactly welcome last time. <laughs> yes, uh, I know. But it, it's been two, what, three years? Your mom says three. That's way too long, t Taylor. We, we're sorry about that. We, we really are. Don't you think it's time we put all of that behind us? I don't know. We want you to bring your girlfriend with you, Jess. So Jess was apprehensive about calling her dad and now we know why. Apparently, it seems as if she came out to them a few years before and gave her a hard time about being queer. So she hasn't seen them or probably spoken to them in a few years. And now they want to put that all behind them and have her for Christmas. But the thing is, they also want Jess to be there. And as we know, her and Jess broke up. But for some reason, she said, sure, I'll bring Jess. I panicked, okay? <sighs> They used to refuse to say her name like it was some awful word and he just threw it in there. Like it was nothing. Like it was so easy. I panicked. Go so call him back. Tell them you broke up. And admit defeat? No way, you do not know my parents. Then what are you gonna do? I don't know, I haven't thought that far ahead. You could do it. And tell Dan what? That I'm spending my holidays with my lesbian boss? <laughs> yeah, you're right. I don't think that would go over well with the husband. Hire someone. Actress don't do that. They don't do real life jobs. It would be like a experimental theater. So along with the help of her coworker, Taylor has decided that she's going to hire someone to play Jess, her girlfriend, who I guess she's been dating for a long time. She doesn't want to admit defeat that her and Jess are no longer together, so she's going to keep up the ruse by hiring an actor to play her girlfriend. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Once again, she pours herself a very conservative glass of wine and hits, I don't know, Craigslist? She's getting herself a Craigslist girlfriend. Potential Christmas dates. Oh, you know it's official. She's making an Excel spreadsheet. Hi. So Olive, the struggling actor, also does some dog walking on the side. And there's an extra little bonus in there for your Christmas. <gasps> and the Christmas bonus, a candy cane. Hey, Taylor. Guess I missed you again. Uh, just wanted to touch base on dates with you. We're just so excited to see you. The both of you. Love you, girl. Oh, uh, this is your dad. So Taylor's dad calls again, wanting to see her, wanting to see Jess, the girlfriend who no longer really exists. The pressure's on, the pressure's on. You better find someone to play your girlfriend soon. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so nervous. I don't know, is this girl on something? Is this girl on several things? I would get the hell out of there immediately. Just haven't been on a date in like four years. <laughs> this, this isn't a date. 
I don't know, it feels like a date. <laughs> The next person in the casting call won't even come from behind the ropes? I don't know what that is. So, uh, you too? Um, yes. Is anyone else here with you? No. She's like, good, because I just got out of jail and I'm paranoid. Uh, we would drive to my parents' house and you would pretend to be my girlfriend. So we're gonna trick your parents and then we're gonna take their money. No, oh my God. No, I'm gonna pay you. She's playing like a longer game. Okay. Safe to say, Thank she's you. not going with We're this coming. one. Uh, huh. I am Jess. <laughs> she's getting into character. She's doing the uh, the I Meisner method. The part of Jess the X. I have an extensive background in Meisner and accounting. <laughs> I told you so I'll be bringing was both. Right. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you can just tell me right now if I've booked. I feel like I have. You can tell me I booked. I booked the part of X. <laughs> <laughs> no, you haven't. No. Uh-uh. No. no. Absolutely not. Thank you. Me, anytime a man tries to talk to Thank me, you. look at me, ask me a question. <laughs> no, immediately get out. <laughs> why would a man even try? Audacity, that's why. Looking for her. You, a holiday date. Actress wanted to pose as my significant other for the holidays. A thousand dollars for the week, woman for woman, looking for her at gmail.com. <gasps> you put me in the personals? It's cute, right? Meanwhile, Marge has taken it upon herself to put an ad in the newspaper. <laughs> I am so sorry. I, I had to get a jump. It just. It well, once again, start. Olive is and, late to work. It's the third time this week. It's always something with you. I can't do it anymore. That's it. Can I just, can I, can I work today and then you won't see me again? Uh, oh, I promise you that. You won't. I, and, can, I can't do it, Olive. This is it. So Olive sure gets fired, is. justifiably. And look at that. She took the newspaper with her. I wonder what she'll find in the newspaper. I'm a customer. So for some reason, Olive can't drive in the rain. She goes back into the job where she just got fired from to buy a cup of coffee she cannot afford. Uh, I saw you at the grocery store. So she starts reading the missed connections in the newspaper. This was 10 years ago now. 10 years? Oh, oh. I need a cleaning lady. You can definitely do that. Girl, you need money. You can't even pay your rent. No. You should do it. Stop. No. Looking for her. All right, she found Taylor's yeah. ad. A holiday date. Actress wanted to pose as my significant other for the holidays. A thousand dollars a week. Thousand dollars a week? Sign me up. My wife will be okay with it. Hi, Dad. I, um... So Taylor's about to tell her dad that she is single and an email comes in and it's probably from Olive. I am just wondering if the 22nd would work. Perfect. Okay, love you too. All right, so she's locked in for December 22nd. Hi, my name is Olive. I'm a professional actor. Hoping this is a serious ad, but I do own a Santa hat just in case. <laughs> Have you been helped? Not yet. No? Hmm. What can I get you? Just some coffee, please. Coffee? Coming right up. So Olive goes into the job where she no longer works and decides to start helping customers. I guess she's trying to show initiative. I don't know. The coffee from this place is from a drip. How is Here this coffee go. any good? Who is keeping this coffee shop open? Is homegirl not planning on paying? And also, the sign on the door says closed because the open part is facing us. Taylor's so funny. She dresses like a New Jersey housewife. Uh, what are you doing back here? You had a customer. You're welcome. Well, they didn't pay. Yeah, You're welcome. Yeah. <sighs> Olive. Taylor. Taylor. You're a woman. 
I am. It did say that in the ad. Oh, right. That's the smudged out part I can read then. What? Oh, uh, nothing. Is that okay? Yes. Oh, I'm relieved. I, I thought it was going to be some serial killer, so this is a very good surprise. <laughs> she still could be a female serial killer. I could still be one, you know. What? A serial killer? Less likely, but oh, still possible. Uh, right. Mm, not convincing? No. <laughs> no, not really. She's like, I'm willing to take that thousand dollar risk. Thank you. So, what are you doing putting an ad out in the classifieds? What year is it again? Well, why are you reading them? Ooh! Well, she's like, I are you a grandma you for putting an ad in the newspaper? And she's like, well, you're a grandma for reading them. <sighs> Touche. Do you have any questions about the job? Yes, girl. A thousand. Yes, I do. Uh -huh. Who, what, when, where, um, and why? I do. Um, how long is it? About a week, but you will be paid for a full week no matter what. Okay. And, and you have a, a working car? I do. Good, because I don't. Okay. <laughs> Let's meet mom and dad. Um, yeah. Wait, uh, should we maybe talk about this more? Nope. I need the money and I'm willing to risk you maybe being a serial killer. <laughs> so Taylor has a hatchback because of course she has a hatchback. She's a lesbian. I don't have a hatchback, but I have a Jeep, which is like just another lesbian car. Do you mind if I... <laughs> no, okay, do whatever you want. Do you mind if I not sit at a 89 degree angle? No, thank you. She's like, I haven't had a carb since 2007. Ooh, can I turn it up? This is my favorite Christmas song. Yeah. Wait, this, this is your favorite Christmas song? This is nobody's favorite Christmas song. Exactly. <laughs> so they switch drivers. Oh, I'll live driving. Favorite movie? Gone with Wind. Oh no. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> Why is that funny? What is it with people and Gone with the Wind? It's it's timeless. I don't get it. All is like, I just came into a lot of money recently, so I am buying the whole store of snacks. I mean their presence alone together creates this completely emotional tension. I mean, there's a reason it's a classic. So they finally arrived to the parents' house late at night. We're here. Okay. I feel like they should have like started touching each other or holding hands or even kiss before they have to do it in front of the parents because like, I don't know, to get comfortable with each other physically. <laughs> So Taylor's family welcomes Jess with open arms, literally. Hi. Miss Alto. Huh. Come on, guys. You know what to do. All right. Well, the girls have had their first kiss within the first two minutes of being in the house. And these parents who, I guess, were homophobic at first are now kissed in front of us. Let's watch. Do you want to help me in the kitchen? Sure. The dad's like, I don't know if I was ready for that. I might be homophobic again. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. Cheryl and I are gonna do a little girl talk, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Olive is really into character. She's already excited to do all of this. <laughs> In here. Taylor's so cute. I love her little outfits. I can take Jess's things to the guest room. Oh, don't be silly. We're not that prehistoric. So her parents are cool with her and Jess happen? sharing a room uh, in their what house. What'd you say, hun? There will be no more mistletoe as long as I'm here. Um, is there any dessert? You never eat dessert. It's not for me. It's for Jess. We know Jess I don't eat sugar or carbs, but Jess is a fat ass. Dessert. I always have dessert. I always need a little sweet after dinner. How do you know I love dessert? Your snack choices. Girl, you spent like $93 at the 7-Eleven on the rest stop. It was no secret that you like snacks. Top or bottom? Oh. Interesting question so early uh, into our fake relationship. The bed. I am fine with either. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I guess that makes Taylor a top. (laughs) I thought you'd have your own bedroom. Oh, this okay. is the second lesbian movie I watched this season where the girls are sleeping like this. In Christmas at the Ranch, they sleep exactly like that. What is going on? Oh my God. I was literally just thinking, so far in this movie, we have not seen an ugly quilt because my, it's not even a theory, it's an observation of truth, of fact, that every Christmas movie has to have an ugly quilt. So, so far, we have ugly quilt in Christmas at the Ranch, a holiday I do, happiest season, And now, looking for her. I know trifecta is three, what's the four? Quadrifecta? It's so far, the quadrifecta of ugly quilts. We'll be on the hunt for more. Good morning. Good morning, honey. Good morning. Olive is super in character. How you doing? You okay? Yeah. I'm sorry, I should be asking you that. It's actually fun. This is tradition. You know that. So they're going to pick out a tree the old fashioned way, going to the woods and chopping it down themselves, I presume. However, none of these look like Christmas trees at all. Jess? Snow Angel. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Olive, aka Jess, gets everybody to lay on the ground and do snow angels. (laughs) Come on. I would not mess up my hair for that. And they just look like they're doing laying down jumping jacks. Oh my gosh. You made this? I did. Yes, but mother likes to put these ones in the back. So they're decorating the tree with no Christmas music playing in the background. So that's pretty much terrorism. Tell me how the two of you met again. Oh, oh um. Oh, they didn't come up with this story before? I was shopping mm-hmm. at the um, the, the mall. Mm-hmm. Yeah, at a store in the mall. Yes. Yeah. And I, I was buying a present for my my dad, mom, my parents. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I just I couldn't figure out what to get them. And then I just I hear this person talking to herself. And I mean loudly. Oh, she does that. <laughs> So Taylor's mom is falling for this fake ass story. And I think Taylor might also be falling for it too. (laughs) She's like, oh my God, I love when that didn't happen. You know what? Why don't I just not help with the tree? Okay, excuse me. So Olive wakes up in the middle of the night, notices that Taylor's not there, so she goes to check on her whereabouts. Oh look, she's working. Hey. Hey. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, I I just couldn't sleep. Are you? Yeah, yeah, same. I'm gonna make us some cocoa. It's always a Christmas movie when you hear them talking about cocoa, because I've never heard anybody in real life say hot cocoa. It's always like hot chocolate. Something is bothering Taylor, and I want to know what it is. I made too much. (laughs) Thank you. Sure. She's like, girl, I don't drink sugar. I haven't had cocoa since I was, I don't know, like 10. (laughs) Told you. Oh, they don't make roast marshmallows? Now, do they have a full s'mores kit or is it just roasted marshmallows? Because I prefer the s'mores kit. But this is cute. Okay, then you just plop them in. Plop them, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, they're making, they're, they're putting the roasted marshmallows in the hot cocoa. That's interesting. Cheers. So this is like their first real bonding moment. Like just okay. the two of them not That's faking delicious. any kind of chemistry. Your parents seem pretty accepting. Yeah, no. All of a sudden. Why couldn't you tell them about the breakup? Growing up, my parents were not like this. They held me to the highest standard with everything I did, and then I came out. And it was just another disappointment. Tale as old as time, unfortunately. Sometimes parents come around, sometimes they don't. 
I guess I don't know very much about you. Well, what do you want to know, Miss Taylor? Oh, not the hair flick. This is a little flirty now. Flirty by the fire? Okay, let's start with growing up. Oh my God, they're Ooh, really gonna go from okay. the beginning. I was born on a cold December evening. Mm. The Berlin Wall mm -hmm. had just fell. Wow, Taylor's enjoying herself. And so is Olive slash Jess. Not all the clothes on the floor. Oh, that was very misleading. Very misleading. <laughs> but now look at that, they're facing each other while sleeping. That could mean something. You know what? I didn't even invite her. So they're decorating cookies <sighs> real ugly or ugly, terribly. Okay, what do you think? Taylor's like, is this what a cookie tastes like? No wonder people love dessert. She's like, I might start eating carbs now. Just <laughs> oh, not the crumb wiping. All right, so we got Christmas dinner, ugly sweaters. No, don't don't say a word. I mean, it. Um, you've made it this far. You don't want to get fired now. Face it, Taylor. You need me. Olive. Are y'all gonna kiss? <laughs> Why did you get the cuter ugly sweater? Your mom loves me. Yeah, she does. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, you gotta cut that tension with a knife. Damn, I really thought they were gonna kiss there in the bathroom with their ugly sweaters. So guests have arrived to the Christmas party. Jess is the first person that Taylor has ever brought home to meet us. She must be something really special. Right, Jess? Who? Oh, yes, me. I'm Jess. Jess, yes, Jess. See? Me. Also, look who woke up first. I bet you a million dollars that Olive is with the mom in the garden watching the deer. Damn, I'm so smart. <laughs> She's like, oh my gosh, she's bonding with my mom. How cute. The real Jess would have never. Oh, she's giggling like a little schoolgirl. You're awfully like, quiet this morning. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm falling for the girl that I'm paying to pretend to be my girlfriend. I'm going out to the Christmas markets later on. Do you girls want to come? That sounds fun. Olive is really in the yeah. lesbian character right um, now with that outfit, the hair, everything. I have to get some work done. Oh, we'll have fun anyway. Let's see. Oh. oh. Perfect. <laughs> She is falling for Olive slash Jess. Have you ever seen Gone with the Wind? Gone with the Wind? Are you kidding? It's a classic. So all of a sudden, Taylor has interest in watching Olive's favorite movie, Gone with the Wind. Hmm. I hope you got more popcorn because that movie looks like it's four hours long. Let me actually see. How long is Gone with the Wind? <laughs> it's four hours. <laughs> no way. Absolutely not. Give me the Cliff's notes. Yeah, dad is not, ha that's me. I'm dad right there. I'm not watching that. My attention span is this big. I guess it's safe to say Taylor is moved by this movie. Hey, hey. You okay? How was the market? Good. Who knew Sears was still around? <laughs> you literally have anything you could ever need. They still have Sears? Really? Hello. Looks good, huh? Great. I'm gonna go upstairs. Uh, I still have some presents to wrap. So Taylor's been acting weird, but then she watched Gone with the Wind, and now she's acting even more weird. And Olive is noticing something. I think Taylor is confused with her feelings for Olive. Yeah. Well, I brought you this. Your mom said it was your favorite. I pretended I knew that. Turkey and mashed potatoes, huh? <laughs> By the way, I made it, so. <laughs> yes, and it's delicious. Yeah? Yes, thank you. You'll have to convince me, I don't know. <laughs> they better kiss in this room. They better kiss right now in this scene. Are you sure everything's okay? I don't think I can do this anymore. What do you mean? What is this? The lie? Oh, is she feeling guilty about lying to her parents? Yeah. 
Um, well, I've been thinking. I just think that it's gone a little bit too far. And I think it would be better if we stopped. I'll tell my parents that something came up at work or... Okay, so Taylor feels weird about lying, which is fair. And I'm sure she feels weird uh, about having some feelings um, for her. I know I owe you a week's worth, so don't worry. I'll make sure you get paid. Taylor, wait. It's wait. Okay. What if we told them the truth? I'll do it with you and it'll be fine. I promise. I can't. I don't want to hurt them. And I don't want to hurt you. I don't know what to do. Okay, we finally got a kiss. Look at that. Are y'all gonna screw upstairs while your parents are still having dessert? Well, I guess this is your dessert. This is more than we usually get in these holiday movies. I guess they both really wanted this. Like them staring at each other for a while was real tense. This reminds me of an Amy Winehouse song. And I wake up alone. Just by the fact that she's smiling, I know something is about to go wrong. Taylor is going to regret the evening she had with Olive. Good morning. <laughs> Wait, what <laughs> she is looks this? like a cardinal of a Catholic did, church. Did you guys sleep all right? I know your dad was snoring like a train. No, we didn't hear anything. Did we, Jess? Mm, we were a little busy. So weird. Um, hmm. I, I I have to use the bathroom, so. <laughs> She's like, I have to take a pregnancy uh, test. Dad and I are gonna go play tennis. So we'll be back in an hour or two. Okay. <laughs> so Taylor just spent the afternoon playing tennis with her dad, and she comes back to find a gift from Jess on the bed and money. I guess after they had relations, Olive felt really weird about lying to the parents too and decided not to take the money and to leave. Um, where's Jess? She booked a bus home. She had some sort of work emergency, some software or something or other. We're really gonna miss her. I'm gonna head in soon to make some dinner. You okay? Okay, all right. You didn't! So Taylor spends Christmas Day without her fake girlfriend, and she's pretty sad about it. And she's finally gonna open the gift that Olive left for her. This movie has kind of like the premise of Pretty Woman a little bit. <laughs> Is everything okay? Yeah. Yeah, everything's fine. You know, parents do know things. Yeah, what kind of things? I knew you were gay when you were little. So then why'd you give me a hard time when I was older? Just knew. Then why did you react the way that you did? Exactly. Just because um, we're parents doesn't mean we don't have faults. Can I get an amen? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't have the right words to say. I'm so sorry. I know we're getting older, Taylor, but we're still growing. It's okay. It's okay. You just needed time. Maybe that's all your girlfriend needs. Some time. Who? Jess? Sure. Why she say sure like that? Does she know about the lie? I lied. I know. <laughs> what do you know? I, I saw your girlfriend, Jess, on your social media page. Man, I knew that wasn't her. Why didn't you see Oh, that? Facebook, so Instagram, mean. gave it up. And you look so cute together. It'll be okay. It's gonna be great. I agree. <laughs> oh, dad knew too, so everybody knows. So Christmas is over and Taylor's on her way home in her hatchback, no, like a lesbian should. Out. Oh, Christmas Tree is playing, which happens to be Olive's favorite song. And of course, now she's thinking of her. She's like, I'm gonna call her. 
Nope, she's deading all her calls. How rude. Gone with the wind. Damn, this girl's obsessed with Gone with the Wind now. So Olive got a paying job, is learning her lines, and deading all of Taylor's calls. Hi. Hi. Go to page 12 of last month's paper. Why? Just do it. It's just your article. Keep scrolling. Click the comments. Whoa. Why does it have 300 comments? Look at them. They all did the list. We didn't have snow, so we did sand angels. Oh, isn't that cute? How did they find it? I don't know, but I'm not complaining. Crazy. Taylor is realizing that she did all of these Christmas date ideas with Olive. I truly have no idea where she's going. Is Olive here? She's probably home. So she's running to Olive's house. Hi. Hi. Hi, um, does Olive live here? She does. She does. You must be Taylor. Uh, can I see her? Uh, she's actually not here right now. I can tell you where she's gonna be, though. Really? Yeah, Taylor, duh. I'm Taylor, you know my name. I'm Kai. I love love. <laughs> Kai, the roommate, is here for all of this and was like, I'm gonna snitch on her whereabouts for love. Anna Olive hops on a bus. <laughs> Oh, she didn't hop on the bus. What a relief. I've called you like a million times. My phone got turned off. My phone got turned oh. off. I'm broke. I'm gonna. Okay. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm okay. Yeah? Just okay? I booked it. That audition? The, uh, yeah, pretty big one, so. Hey, that's amazing. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> so you guys gonna just stand there awkwardly looking at each other? That was last bus, so I'll, I'll drive you. You know what? That's okay. I'm good. Olive, I'm sorry. What is she sorry about? I'm sorry for... Everything. I'm sorry for dragging him into that whole mess. I know I should have just been honest, but I was scared and I'm sorry. Look, I went too method with it. No, I, I get it. No, we did everything on the list. What list? The snow angels that you made me do? The stupid sweaters? The fire? I don't know what you're talking about. I watched Gone with the Wind. You did? Three times, actually. And? I mean, no, I'm Scarlet and you're Rhett. Oh my god, I can't believe I just messed that up. It's okay. So what do you say? Well, what are you asking? Yeah, literally, what is this? Do you have any plans for Easter? <laughs> Easter? <laughs> oh, because she's going to go home for Easter? Come here. <laughs> Y'all better kiss. So I guess they brought the hatch back up for Easter. And now they're going to present themselves as a real couple this time. They're gonna love you. Is she wearing overalls again? And so they finally got to meet the real Olive. And the end. And there you have it, folks. That was Looking for Her. 
in the books. Very cute movie. Woman puts out an ad for somebody to play her girlfriend while visiting home for the holidays. The two get way into character and actually fall in love with each other. Once again, nobody died. So we're calling this a win. It was a very cute movie. Interesting storyline. I'd probably give it three out of five stars. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought of this movie. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel as I put videos out every week. You can hit the notification bell to get notified every time I put out a video. And if you haven't already, go ahead and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next recap on Nicole Reacts Up. Bye.